Hey, Ray Dalvecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the step-by-step -step process to sign up with HostGator and install WordPress to create your first website or blog. Now, I'm a big proponent of people publishing their ideas online, whether it's a portfolio, a personal website, or on a hobby or topic that you love. And in 2024, there's many platforms that you can choose, but since day one, the most professional and flexible option is self-hosted WordPress. In fact, I set up my first WordPress website on HostGator back in 2009. And the best part is that it only takes about eight minutes of hands-on work to launch. So don't be intimidated if you're not a tech guru. We're on the HostGator homepage, and I'll link that up in the description below so you can follow along. And you can either go up to the hosting tab up here, which gives you a few options for hosting. Now, if you don't know anything about how hosting works, I recommend you check out a video that I created explaining the entire web hosting process in much more detail, along with what some of these options mean, like dedicated hosting, VPS hosting. I'll link that up in the top right. But if you just want to create one website on one domain in the most affordable way, you can just go with the shared hosting, which that is linked up here with this get started button. So that's what we'll click. I recommend the hatchling plan if you're just setting up one website. And if you need more websites, you can choose either the baby or the business plan. So let me click the buy now button for the hatchling plan, which will take us to the checkout page. And with your first year of hosting, they give you a free year of domain registration. If you already have a domain with another registrar, you can go to this tab over here. I'm going to pick a domain to register right now. And you just got to type in the domain name and you can choose your extension on the right over here. So I'll select .com. And then at the bottom here, you can add on domain privacy protection. So when you register your domain, your contact details can get listed online. So in order to block that from happening, you'll want to add on this domain privacy, which is only $15 a year. I'm going to deselect it just so we can get the best cost. And then we have our hosting plan, which is already selected for the hatchling plan. And this is where you select your billing cycle. So you can go month to month if you like, but you're going to pay a premium to do that. Your other options here are one year and three years. So you're going to get your best price if you go for that three-year plan, which is $375 a month. You'll lock that in for three years, and then it's going to renew at $999 a month after that. So if you want to lock in that rate, I recommend three years. Otherwise, you're probably going to want to go with the one-year option at $495 a month, and you can see that that renews at $1199 per month. In step three, you can create a HostGator account if you haven't done that yet. Step four, you can enter your billing info. You can pay directly with a credit card or use PayPal by changing that option over here. And then in step five, this is where they upsell you on additional services. So again, if you want to get the best price, I recommend that you uncheck these options. So go ahead and deselect anything that's enabled by default. And then we can scroll down to the bottom. This is where you review your order details. And for 12 months, you're going to pay $59.40. So for less than $60, you're going to be set up for the entire year. So let's go ahead and finish checkout by hitting the Checkout Now button. And we land on this Order Success page. We can scroll down and check out our receipt. Then we can click our My Account button to navigate to our Hosting Administrator page. And it's telling us here that our Hatchling plan is ready to be set up. Let me click that button and see what happens here. And as soon as we clicked on that, it's telling us that our new WordPress site is installing. And down here, it says that it's already ready. And now it just auto refreshed. I was going to go through some of those options within the wizard, but we just refreshed here to our WordPress page. And it looks like this is set up on a temporary domain right now, but we have the newest version of WordPress. And let's go over to the appearance theme section and see what theme we have installed. We have the newest theme 2024 installed. This theme allows you to design your site visually. In fact, I have a whole tutorial going through how to edit your site with 2024. I'll link that up in the top right, as well as the description below. And the other thing I like to do is delete all the pre-installed plugins. Now, some hosting companies offer a plugin like this one, the HostGator plugin, which the good thing about this is that the plugin is probably going to be optimized for your server environment. I do recommend an SEO plugin like Yoast SEO that helps your website get found in Google. But I'd probably delete these three, Jetpack, Hello Dolly, and Akismet, which you can do up here from the bulk actions. Just select Delete and then Apply. And that will delete these plugins from your website. And actually, this Jetpack, this has to be deactivated first before we delete it. So let's deactivate it. Click the Delete button. Now we have a good minimal WordPress installation that we can begin to build upon. And let's take a look at our website. We can scroll up to the Welcome tab up here. Click Visit Site. 
And you can see this red bar up here is telling us that this is the site preview. It's not the live site. That's probably linked to this up here, site status coming soon. I'm guessing this is built into the HostGator plugin, which I have not used before. But this is the 2024 theme layout. So it gives you a nice pre-built web design in place already. If you check out my other tutorials, you'll see that when you build new pages, it'll ask you if you want to install one of these pre-made layouts so you don't have to do it from scratch. And I just want to show you, if you navigate back to your HostGator My Account page and go over to the Websites tab, this is where it's going to show your installed website. Let me jump into the settings, and then this is going to show you some of the details of the WordPress website, like the version, whether or not you have auto updates on, which I highly recommend for security purposes. And then if you need to edit your domain or your hosting package at any point, you can do that from here. Or if you have any questions, you can contact HostGator support from the phone number listed up here or do a support chat from the support icon. So if that looked easy enough for you, you can get started with HostGator by using my affiliate link, websiteprofitcourse.com slash HostGator, which I'll include in the description below. And if you use my link, I may make a small commission if you set up your website, and that helps me create free tutorials like this one, along with my free WordPress training, which you can get to by going to websiteprofitcourse.com slash WP101. That goes further into the admin area. It'll show you a little bit more of the behind the scenes aspect of how WordPress works. And I think by the end of it, you're going to have a great idea of how to create an awesome website so check those links out in the description and last but not least give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications if you would like to get all my future wordpress tutorials and feel free to leave any questions in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll link up a couple related videos here if you want to keep on learning